हेलो एंड वेलकम टू डॉकर कंटेनर एप्लीकेशन एक्चुअली इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी वो टॉकिंग अबाउट द अजोर कोबोनिटीज सर्विस टू अंडरस्टैंड द अजोर कोबोनिटी सर्विस इन मोर डेप्थ यू शुड हैव द नॉलेज अबाउट द डॉकर कंटेनर सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल क्रिएट एन एप्लीकेशन इन द एस पी डॉट नेट कोर यूजिंग द लिनिक्स प्लेटफॉर्म एंड वी विल डिप्लॉय इन टू द docker container and and we will use the azure service scr that is the azure containers registry and we will create the app service to deploy that application so let's move and create an sp.net core application open the visual studio here you can simply take the new project i will take the sp.net core web app mvc i will give the name and important here i will check the enable docker because we need to create the because we need to create the docker image and docker operating system you can select windows or linux so let me select the linux because that could be a new experience for the users that never use the sp.net core and let's uncheck this one configure for https that is not required now framework is 6.0 so let me create it here it has been created okay so if i run this application so you can see this will look like okay here you can see welcome docker container so we will push this application inside the docker container so let me open the azure portal here you can see so here what you need to do first you need to create the container registries so we can create the container registry from here or you have the command prompt as well if you right click on the solution so here you can see open in terminal inside the terminal what you can do you can connect to the azure from here as a login it will ask me the username password i have selected a profile now login is successful so here what i can do here i can create the azure container registry so i have some commands here i can copy this command this command will just create the container registry so let me paste it it's taking some time so here you can see so here you can see the progress it's completed so if you see now let me refresh the container registries yes now here i can see kota container registry i give i have given the name kota container registry the name i have given kota container registry so if you want to understand this command like this is nothing like this command is very simple just say the az ser create command you need you need to give the name you need to give the resource name resource name is rg1 and what kind of the, it could be a basic or standard so i selected as standard and we have to provide the admin admin access so now it has been created now what next now what you have to do you have to 
build the docker image so let me build the docker image so how you can build uh, command is docker build hyphen t then give the name so you can take the name from here if you see this file is already created i can put this name singleton info soft and inside the whole inside this direct inside the solution i can put the dot it will take the entire thing then press so it's creating the image so meanwhile if you want to understand what is the docker file i can explain a little bit so it is start from the mcr mcr the microsoft container registry so it's just taking the sp net inside the directory app and that will expose at port 80 and in the next step we have the build so again we can see the image is coming from the microsoft container registry this is the image and this is image is full to build the solution and in the next step it just publish the image and then it create the image here from the published artifacts so here you can see this process has been completed we have completed the docker image successfully so now we need to push this image to the azure container registry to push this image to the azure container registry we need to add the tag so here is the command to add the tag this command I will use. Uh, let me clean this screen. Here I can press this command. So I am changing the tag. So here I am creating the tag. Tag name of this image would be this one quota container registry dot azure ser dot io slash singleton info soft and v1 v1 is the version so actually that is a standard pattern like uh, let me show the actual command see this is the template actually so on docker then then create the tag and put the image name what the image is name you have you have just created and take the latest image put the new name login server name that is the actually ser name that we have just created and again the image name ser name slash image name so one important thing that login server name where you will get it you will get it from let me go let me go to the portal so inside the ser image container registry you here you can see quota container regist registry dot azure ser dot io you can just copy it and you can put into your uh, template so similarly here i can you can see i i added this template so that is actually the login server name that is very important you you need to be careful here so you need to put login server name here okay so i have already copied it let me run this command yes so the tag has been created now we just need to push the docker image so now the let me copy this command and let me put it here so it will push this image to the container so let me run this command here you can see unauthorized required so so it's a authentication required because 
before doing this activity i need to connect to that azure container registry so how we can connect to that registry so here is the command login i need to login to this azure container registry docker login then container registry name and press enter it will ask the password and username so username you need to take from the ser go to the ser click on access key copy it put it here then now copy the password generally we should hide the password but just i, I just need to delete after this demo so it's fine copy the password put it here yes login succeed so run this command again push this image into the ser okay so if that has been completed so let me try to see into the ser this should be somewhere into the ser okay so in the ser in the in the repository you can see this is the image that we just pushed and you can see the version v1 you will see the image details you will see the docker pull command as well even you can also use this command it will be deployed into your environment so in the next step we will use this ser okay so what you have to do now the important thing we have to create the azure app service app app service so click on the click on the app services create app service here click on create app service select the subscription these are the basic commands these are the basic steps select the resource now give the name i can give the name same name or different name i can give here singleton info soft that's it now here you need to select the docker container because we need to pull this image from the container registry and where you want to deploy it you can put you can select the central us source wherever you want to deploy it and need to select the linux container so i will run this application inside the container having the linux operating system in the next step we need to select the docker so you can select the single container as we are just deploying the one application and now the important where is your image so as we as we just created the image and pushed it push this image into the azure container registry so you you need to select the azure container registry okay so now i think it's easy to understand for you you can see the all the things populated here container registry is there only we have one container registry and we have the image singleton infosoft inside this container registry and version as well you can see and that's it now click on review click on next networking we no need to change anything from here whatever you can see let it be text review and create i will click on create so it may take one to two minutes that because that is a very small 
एप्लीकेशन ओके नाउ डेट इज डन गो इन साइड द रिसोर्स यूर यू कैन सी द यू आर एल जस्ट कॉपी दिस यू आर एल एंड पुट इन टू द ब्राउजर कॉपी पुट इन टू द एड्रेस बार एंड प्रेस द एंटर here you can see welcome so therefore we have successfully deployed this application inside the container so i think that is very simple way if you have any question any doubt you can put your comments into the section box please subscribe that is all in this video happy learning